but come on in and say hey and let me know where you're from as you come in i am right here in front of me on their table is one of our new wreath kits featuring this beautiful sign i love this one it's got a wheelbarrow on it it says welcome it's full of daisies i love the plaid on the edges it's fun so i'm going to be making this wreath kit this kit comes with this 12 inch metal sign it comes with the wreath frame three rolls of ribbon look at that funness it comes with a daisy bush and also this greenery this is a this is a boxwood bush actually a boxwood um also the wreath kit comes with this black and yellow um fabric white stripe mesh one roll of it and we're going to be putting it all together wreath kit by the way um for this wreath kit that comes with one roll of mesh, I'm cutting 20 inch strips. And of course, because it's a wreath kit, this video will also serve as a tutorial as well. So I always try to stop and explain what I'm doing. 20 inches for this fabric mesh. All right, um, some other things that we're gonna use for this wreath kit is I've got some pipe cleaners, I have some floral wire. I have my glue, hot glue, over to the side. I've got my adhesive cable timeouts, and of course my DAP Rapid Fuse glue. So those are gonna be some other things that we will need that are not included in this kit. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get this sign ready. The sign comes with pre-drilled holes, I'm not a big fan of using the holes because then my pipe cleaners will show up and I don't always want them showing. So what I like to do is use my DAP Rapid Fuse glue and add some cable tie mounts to this. So I just put a little spot of glue, spot of glue. All right, so I just added a, our first ruffle with that red and black mesh. We're gonna do the 20 inch strip. I'm just gonna make a ruffle by um, going right up the center and walking this, pulling it together, making a little ruffle. And I call it like a little butterfly, right? I'm gonna skip every other twist tie. So I go every other twist tie and then when I go back, I put it on the opposite twist tie. The mesh may, lays much nicer and more evenly, in my opinion, by doing every other. Yes, okay, so you did. Um, I don't know if I'm on it or not, but only ones when I see, when I get notified something shipped. The only ones you see are when, so yeah, when something ships, then yeah, you're not on my email subscription. If you look, oh, let's see if I can do it. Um, I asked.
so this is our sign attached and you'll notice that I put it a little off to the side. I like to do off to the side because it gives me this space to play with and add my bow or bows, my florals and greenery. It's a lot of fun. So let us make a bow. Let's us make a bow. So what I do is I'll put the ribbon in the order that I want it. So if I want, I'm gonna lay all three of them at the same time. One, two, and three. And that's how I want it to be in the bow. I want the yellow to be in the center and the black and white to be on top. I hope you're doing This is gonna take all three ribbon at the same time. So I'm gonna bring this out to about the seven inch mark. And I've got all three stacked together. So I'm going to take all three ribbon. I'm gonna come out to about the six inch mark. Give it a twist. And I'm gonna do that on the other side. And come out to the six inch mark. If you don't have a three ribbon spool holder, throwing them on the floor works just as well. It's just not as neat. As I go down, give it a twist. And then on this next one, let me make sure I'm at the six inch mark. Nope, let me get this. On the next one, I'm gonna come in to um, more like five inches. So I'm gonna come in about an inch. So this loop will be about five inches. It goes smoother with the um, ribbon hole or the yeah spool holder. So see how I'm coming in on this one, a little bit shorter, about an inch shorter. I should probably just throw that one on the floor too. My yellow. There it is. My yellow was twisted. And then on this last one, so it's going to get um, one more set of loops. And this one is going to be a little bit shorter yet. You don't want to get it too short in the center or else it'll look really crowded. That's the only thing that I caution you about is... Um, I remember I started out with a six inch loop. So the bigger the bottom loop, the better. Or else it will turn out really crowded in the center. Until you see what this looks like. I have a really great video um, that I use Halloween ribbon for or in it with this technique. And it is just gorgeous. So I'm going to cut my tails about the six inch mark, done there. Now, because this is a thick bow, so can you see how thick that is? It's a, very, it's a lot of ribbon there. I am gonna use a zip tie to start out with because I'm, I know me, I'm not gonna be able to get this super tight with uh, just wire or a pipe cleaner. So I'm gonna start with a zip tie and then I will add my floral wire before we tighten the zip tie down all the way. And now we'll take a piece of that floral wire. I just... All right, so I added some floral wire in there before I tightened down the zip tie. All right, so now I've got all three ribbon I'm gonna start spreading out my loops. And because I use that zip tie, I feel really confident. But you see how I'm just kind of like twisting it, yanking it around. When I pull that apart like that, it helps the center become more defined so I don't have like a gap in the center. 
of course then if you if it's, the ribbon starts to move that tells you you don't have it quite tight enough yet And let me fix this one. And I'm going to um, dovetail these. And of course, I will shape it a little bit nicer once we get it on the wreath. But look how full this bow is, look how large it is. That was with a six inch loop, and we did three ribbons all at the same time. It's a lot of fun. And you have, instead of, so instead of having that look of the ribbon stacked on top of each other, it's all intertwined. I love that. And now that I have that on there, I can shape my loops a little bit more. However, since we are going to be adding some florals to this, it's kind of in vain because we're going to have to shape it again anyway. But that's what it looks like with our bow. And I'm, I'm okay with where the bow's at because we're going to be adding some florals. Now, somebody asked me on a previous video because I love to add florals. I love to add florals to my mesh wreaths. And they asked me specifically, did I glue or tie in the florals? And my answer was yes. Yes, I do both. So um, I like to use some zip ties if I can't find a twist tie to work in. But this one has these beautiful cream daisies which play right along with that wheelbarrow sign. And then I'm going to be using this greenery as well. And I'm pretty sure this is listed as a boxwood, but let's just verify and validate. PF173. Nine, three, two, and yes. Oh no, this is the Ruscus. It looks very close to that boxwood and the Ruscus. Okay, so the first, there they are. I'm gonna cut that off. So anytime that I can grab a twist tie to add my greenery to, I'm going to, but I always add glue to it as well. So the glue helps keep it stabilized, but the um, twist tie ensures that it's not going to come loose and fall off. And I love this daisy bush. Look at the leaves on it. They look so realistic on this one. Um, I'm not gonna need the leaves right now. I'm just gonna cut some of these blooms off. And I would definitely want three, let's do four and four. There's eight total blooms. And I'm gonna use all eight of them. And I'm cutting them right now at the longest to keep them the longest, but um, we may trim those down as we go forward. All right, so I'm gonna save these four. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take these and make a little spray behind our bow. So here's our bow, and if you can imagine that we make a spray um, above and below the bow. So there's gonna be daisies coming out this way and this way. So we're gonna start with the lower part of it, and I have to turn it around so I can see it. Um, and there is a twist tie right here also, um, I will be using the underside of our ribbon on our bow. So I'm going to take the longer one, dip it in a little glue, go under the bow and kind of wiggle it in the mesh, but I'm going to lay it on top of that twist tie because I'm going to be using that twist tie to help hold it together. So I'm going to glue each one lay it on top of that twist tie, and then we're gonna shape it here in a second. And because they're all wired, let me see, 
Um, I'm not worrying about where they're located yet because we can shift them around. Now the Ruscus, it's much shorter and it's not as heavy. So I'm okay with just cutting some of this dark greenery, this Ruscus. Let me scoot that up. And the ends of it are very small. I can very easily work that into the weave of the mesh. So even if I'm not able to capture a twist tie, which it looks like I'm going to be able to, but even if I weren't, I could still glue, um, add some of that glue um, down there into the weave of the mesh. Let me tighten that up. And of course, then I'm going to tighten my twist tie. Scoot some of that up. I need a stem to work with. Add some greenery in between there, and then we're going to shape it all. So add some of that dark green Ruscus. And got some there. I definitely want some coming out this side. So let's add some glue. Now, if you um, get this wreath kit, you don't have to do a spray like this. You could so easily, hey Tracy, um, hey Lucinda, you could very easily take these um, daisies and put them in each one of the twist ties, like line the top of it. There's eight of them. There's eight twist ties on top. Or you could alternate and put some on the bottom, some on the top instead of like ribbon tails. It's totally up to you, and it's your design. I want you guys, when you buy our wreath kits, to feel free to be as creative as you'd like, or you can use my design as well. You have totally have my permission to do that. Totally. Okay. Let's add some of those daisies. So let me show you what the bottom looks like. So this is what it looks like from the bottom side. If we were to hold that up and adding that floral just really makes a difference. So I'm going to repeat that on the bottom. I'm going to bring out my other four daisies. This one's the longest, so it's going to go in the center. Add a little glue, go up underneath my bow, lay it right on that twist tie because that twist tie is gonna hold all of these together. What I like to do is make sure that my bow isn't covering up my message on my sign. So I'm gonna shift him this way a little bit and go up behind and maybe tighten that down just a smidge more. So he doesn't shift on me. Hey, Miss Sherry. Ugh. See where we're going with this. Look at how fun. All right. Now, you, of course, have the option to add some ribbon tails. And I definitely want to add some of that um, turquoise blue. As soon as I find it. There it is. The uh, daisies. I think that's really going to pop. And I feel like the yellow, too. So let's cut a few tails. I only need one, two, let's see if that one's going to come out, three, so maybe 13 tails. And I'm going to do 12 inch tails.
have a great night and I will see you tomorrow. I'm going to go shopping tomorrow. That's for sure. Have a good one, y'all.